This laptop was brought to me because it has water damage. Just by looking at the thing, like I can, I can kind of understand it's not the cleanest one in the world, but it does turn on. Oh, that's not good. The fan vent is back here and it definitely is not blowing. I'm gonna go ahead and bypass this and see what happens. Oh, that's not good either. Starting to believe this whole spill thing. Let's take her apart, flip her over. Every screw I can see. I've got those, now to move on to the hidden ones. I'm gonna do a little bit of this, and it's open. Well, hard drive is definitely here and plugged in okay. So is the fan. Good news is, her hard drive is healthy. Bad news is, I've done everything for this board. It's dead. Replacement is just dead it's a dell e6440 these are like no fun to take apart but you know we're gonna every screw i can see boom now we're just gonna kind of take a nail in there and do that um i honestly forget where to even start with these things so i'm just gonna take out every screw never mind there they are I just remembered this bezel comes out i don't even know how and then there's these and then our keyboard comes oh that looks like a spill more screws Raise a blade, and this comes out. I need to do a whole bunch more unscrewing. Okay, there's more, I guess. This has got to come out. This too. Really, like, impossible. I'm going to move everything from that board to that board. Awesome. Plugs and screws. Test real quick. Everything looked good, so we're going to finish the assembly. Beautiful. This is the HP laptop from, I wanna say three days ago? Anyway, it had the failing hard drive, so we're swapping it out. This is a brand new 7200 RPM hard drive versus the 5400 RPM that was in the original laptop. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it all back together because I know that that drive is gonna work. So you normally you wanna wait to screw together, make sure everything works, but screw it. I'm gonna screw, ha, <laughs> screws. Uh, it's my birthday today. I'm gonna put in my automated updated Windows installer. It's gonna install the OS. Right off the bat, I put it in, walk away, and we have an operating system. All done. Thanks. Ah, um, somebody brought me two uh, desktops today, and both of them came from his work. He just needs to reset them. He just wants to set them all both up just like new. And that says Locke, kind of like John Locke, like the scary ghost monster. And I thought that was peculiar. <laughs> anyway, I have the hiccups. I'm going to go ahead and delete all the partitions on the hard drives and install the operating system on one of, one of them. And once it's done installing, I'm going to switch it on over to the other one and get that one installing in the meantime. While this one installing, uh-oh, this one's installing now. While that one's installing, the other one is done. Now that the other one's done installing drivers and the drive are almost done, and the other one's uh, almost done too. And now they're both done. Now I'm going to put the thingy on that one, and then, whoop. Replacement. It's broken, I swear. Just wait. Oh, see? Very broken. So this bezel doesn't have any screws, so we're just going to start with unclipping the bezel. That was kind of harder than I thought. It was like stickered in. Now for four screws around the edges. Screw, screw, screw. Okay, it comes down like that. Make sure it's off and the battery is out and we can go ahead and work with our plug. This is a 30 pin, 15.6 inch screen. Unfortunately, I don't have one, so time to find one of this model. I just put the new one in. Well, it's used, refurbished. Time to screw in all the screws. Snap the bezel in place. Clean up the screen. Gosh dang beautiful. This HP laptop was brought to me in shambles. <laughs> um, so I didn't show you before when it first came in, but all of these little, you see where it screws in right there? All of those were broken off, like every single one of them. So her screen was just like, being held in by some wires so we got her the new lcd cover as well as a new screen because the hinges broke her screen so we got the new screen in there after i put in the new lcd cover uh screw 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 <laughs> gonna remove all that satisfying wrap just one big peel oh very good 
And we're gonna go ahead and put the bezel back on. Now that bezel just snaps back in. I'm gonna take off this anti-static wrap off a piece of plastic I don't understand, but there we go. All set. Screen, I think, works. Yep, cool. Bye.